Hey everyone, Alex here from Realist Graps, and today I'm going to show you how to wrap a Devs 250. Here are a couple Devs 250s I have wrapped for myself along with customers, and when you're done watching my installation videos and instructions, you will be able to wrap one for yourself like this as well. And now I'm going to show you how to wrap a Depth 250 in a realistic reflective material. The first step is to wash your bait in some warm water and soap. This helps get rid of any oils or contaminants and also helps soften up the skin for removal. I like to use this plastic tartar tool you can find at any bargain store to help scrape away at some of the glue holding the skin on. I'll also suck a little water into the tail fin and using that water underneath the skin pushing forward to help release the glue from the rear skin. The rear skin can be very difficult at times and may require a little bit of muscle so don't be afraid. The skin is actually pretty tough and can take a lot of abuse before puncturing through. As you can see the skin slid right off. Next is the front skin which is a lot easier. Soak it in warm water, a little bit of soap for lubrication using the plastic tool or tool of your choice. Simply just pushing down and the skin should slide right off. Once you get the skins off, you will notice sometimes the weights will fall out. Now is the time to glue them back in place before wrapping them or change your weights altogether to your acquired tuning. There is the disassembled skins off of the bait. Next step is to either peel off any of the factory foil or scrape off the foil. The OG 250s tend to have a foil that you can peel off and the new styles are melted on that will need to be scraped off with some form of tool or sandpaper. As you can see here. Once you got the bait completely stripped down, you're going to want to wipe it down with a little bit of paint thinner and a rag, getting rid of any adhesives or leftover foils. Once you've wiped the bait down with the rag and some paint thinner, give it a wash with some soap and water again, just to remove any contaminants. Next is remove the pin and separate the two pieces, making installation of the wrap a lot easier and clear coating as well. I chose to do the realistic reflective in the new HD cart pattern. First I'm going to start by peeling off the front wrap. Hold the tip with your thumb and the center and lay it flat, lining up the slot in the lip and pushing down the crease if it's a new style. If it's an OG, it's round and flat. Working your way on the bottom, making sure everything is flat, no wrinkles or creases. You're going to slowly press your wrap down, conforming it to the bait. This material is a little more difficult to work with and sometimes will like to wrinkle. It also has a tendency to stick to itself or to other things because the adhe adhesive on it is so strong. Make sure to keep your fingers away from any part of the wrap. Once you're going over the top, simply push all the creases down get all the edges flattened and now you have a completed front piece of a Depth 250. You can see a couple of wrinkles there, you're just going to flatten them in place or maybe later address them with a lighter where you will melt them and press them flat. Next step is peel off the tail strip. You're going to line it up 
right underneath the center pin and hook hanger, exactly divided down the middle of the bait. And then just fold, make sure you don't have any wrinkles, and fold your wrap over, working your way up. This material can be a little bit difficult to work with at times if your weather conditions or house is a little cold, so I do recommend a warmer environment or possibly a heater in the room. Press down all the edges, all the points, and now you have the tailpiece complete. Next is the hinge piece, which is a half moon. You will lay it flat, pressing it down, conforming it all over the edges. and then taking a razor blade and cutting out the two slots. And this completes one side of your wrap. Next step is clear coating. I like to use some vice grips or some forceps to clamp on the screw eye on the end of the depth's front head, dipping it completely in the Aluma UV, letting it drip back into the can, and then curing it under some UV lights or under the sun. Next step is the tail section. I like to take a Q-tip with a little bit of water putting it inside of the slots where the hinges go and wetting them a little bit. Then I'm going to take my low temp glue gun and squirt some low temp glue in there and then dabbing my finger in a little bit of water, pressing them flat and locking them in place. Next you're going to take some forceps, dipping the tailpiece into the can and hanging it in some UV light or sunlight to cure. After it's cured, you're going to take your razor and make some cuts along where you applied the cold glue gun and then slowly and carefully removing those glue pieces out from those slots, leaving you a clean hinged area with no gunk or buildup to remove. Cleaning away any excess residue with your blade. And then you're going to take a little super glue, applying it along the edges of the clear coat and glue you just cut out, giving it a little extra strength and security on those pieces. Make sure you cut out the little hole for the center pin. Connect your two baits together, put your center pin back in, and next you're ready to clear the skin out. Next step is clearing the skin out of the factory paint. First you'll start by removing the eyes from the skin. Next you're going to take a clean white rag and some paint thinner and wipe down any of the paint on the outside of the skin, making it crystal clear. Next is to remove any foil inside of the rear skin that may have been stuck. Also taking the white rag and wiping the inside of both skins and removing any glue from the tail residue or excess paint that may have been sprayed on the front portion. Next you're going to wash your baits in warm soap and water and then allowing them to dry.
After that, you will take a small paintbrush with a little Aluma UV, applying it inside to the skin and on top of your coated and wrapped bait and then sliding the skins on, cleaning up any residue that may be dripping from the pockets, hook ties, or anywhere on the bait. Setting it in the sun and UV light to cure, and now you can finish it with some highlight painting along the head, gills, and tail and fin sections. And now your realistic reflective depth 250 is complete. Next I'm going to show you the two-piece transparent over foil material. So you separate your baits, remove your first piece of front foil off of the transfer paper and place it down onto the bait with the end facing you. Lining up the slot in the nose and working your thumb down the middle of the valley if it's a new style. Working your way down to the weights and the hook hanger. Now is the time you're going to start using your lighter to conform the foil. This foil is very stiff and doesn't like to conform very well. That's where the lighter comes into play. This lighter will soften it up, shrink it and melt it and help you apply this material onto the bait with ease. Don't be afraid to use too much lighter. It's only going to help lock the wrap onto the bait and give it that extra security and strength. Working your way down the back and hitting the lighter, any creases that you may have will instantly shrink down and flatten. Again, don't be afraid to use excess lighter. The lighter is your friend when installing this material and it's only going to help lock the wrap onto the bait. And that completes the front portion of the wrap install for the foil. Next is the tail section. You're going to take the foil, line it up along the center of the bottom of the wrap, and folding it over. Working your way down through the lower hook hanger, around the tail piece, melting it and conforming it into place, and then working your way up along the top of the back. Next is around the hinge area, and just go over it freely, getting any wrinkles or bubbles taken care of. That is the small half moon on the hinge. You're going to lay it flat, press it down with your thumb, go over it with the lighter and melt it into place as previous. Next you're going to take your razor blade, cut two slots down through the material and remove those pieces. And that completes the foil install. Next, next you take your transparent front material and laying it over the foil you just applied in the same manner. This clear material is a lot more forgiving 
and a lot more flexible. It'll also shrink if needed and is completely user friendly. Now you'll start to see your bait transform into the two piece trout kaleidoscope hologram depth 250. Going over all the edges with your lighter, flattening everything into place. And just making sure to get any air bubbles or creases out of the wrap. Next you're going to take the tail section transparent skin, lay it over the foil you just applied in the same manner, making sure not to get any wrinkles or bubbles. Using the lighter to melt down any creases and conform the material to the shape of the bait. The more lighter you use, the more the wrap is going to secure itself onto the bait and give you that extra strength and security. Last but not least is the half moon on the joint. Place it down, push it flat, melt it in place. And then taking your razor blade and cutting away the excess along the slots. You have now completed a transparent drought over the hologram material or whatever pattern you have chosen. Next step is going to be clear coating. Before you can clear coat your bait, you will need to fill in the pockets for the hinge. I like to take a Q-tip and a little bit of water and dab it inside of the pockets, getting them wet. And then using a low temp glue gun, filling in those pockets, and then taking my finger with a little bit of water and curing that glue in place. This prevents any clear coat going into the hinge and causing any buildup or issues on your swim. The next step is clear coating your baits. I prefer Luma UV and like to use a forcep to dip it into the can, dripping it back in and then curing it under some UV lights or sunlight. Same thing with the front piece, dipping it in and curing it under UV lights or sunlight. Once your bait is fully cured, you will need to take a razor blade Cut out the slots of the glue you applied into the hinges, removing them with a small screwdriver. Once your glue pieces have been removed out of the hinge, I like to take a little super glue and go over the edges that you just cut out, securing those pieces a little bit more. Make sure you cut out the little hole for the center pin. Connect your two baits together, put your center pin back. And then it's time to assemble the bait. I prefer to use Aluma UV on a paintbrush, placing a little bit inside of the skin and on top of your bait, sliding the skins over. 
cleaning off any excess that may drip out along the head, hook ties, or tail section, and then curing it in sunlight or in UV light. Once your skins have cured, then you can take an airbrush and highlight along the head and tail and fins, giving them those tones and features that you like. You have now completed the Depths to 50 wrap and your bait is ready to fish, and good luck.